zombie apocalypse. Good day, Tinker Kid friends. Let's make a new project by creating a new design, and let's make ourselves a rocket. Uh, put your name and put your initials after it so we can keep track of who's or who's. When you're done, you may share them with me with the share button. Let's start by adding the body of our rocket, which is a tube. And let's make our rocket 10 millimeters thick by 10 millimeters thick. And let's make it 40 millimeters high. That's a good body of a tube. You can click this to zoom in and get a good look at it. Uh, at this point, we want to put a top on our rocket. Uh, the best choices probably are the sphere, the paraboloid, or the cone. Whichever one you pick, you want to set your work surface to right here, though. So let's press W and set the work surface up there, and then take your pick for which one you want to put on. When you put it on, remember we made those 10 and 10. So you simply click the boxes and click the boxes and put your 10 and 10 again. Uh, if you go to top view, you can see that they're not aligned. But if we drag a large box, we can quickly grab both, hit a line, and go center, center, so that it looks good. If you switch to your side view, you can see that now it looks like a rocket. We can shut off that work plane by hitting W on the screen. We probably want those to stay together, so let's take them and group them. If you don't want them to be the same color, you can click on the color tool and you can turn on multicolor so you can still keep your colorful rocket. At this point, let's add our fins. Uh, you can make your fins out of the wedge. Uh, the nice thing about the wedge is when it comes in, it actually looks like a fin. Uh, if you grab these handles, you can shrink it however you want. I'm going to change my height since my whole rocket's 40. I'm going to make my fin 10. And uh, I'm going to change this height. I love typing the numbers because uh, it shows up uh, exactly how I want. And then you can simply grab and drag your rocket fin into place. When you click on that first one, you can do Control D. And there's an awesome tool called Flip where you can flip the other one. And then I'm going to use the arrow keys to move the new one to the other side. Now, if we're ever going to 3D print these, you want them stuck inside the shape one click. And we also want to make sure that they're on the center. Now, I got lucky in mine were, but I'm just going to click on them, and I'm going to do a line, and I'm going to make sure they say center. And I need to duplicate those, so I'm going to do Control D again, and then I'm going to use the rotate. And notice these tick marks. I'm moving out to the long tick marks, not the little ones. These go all wackadoodle numbers. These snap to the easy 90, 80, uh, 90, 180, 270, etc. Now my rocket's fins are pretty groovy. I am going to group all that. And it kept the multicolor, which is extremely cool. Real quickly, I'm going to put USA on my rocket. Uh, when I drop this out here, notice it's not aimed. I want to do USA up and down. So I'm going to hit delete, and I'm going to click right on this with the W key. And now when I bring the text out here, it's actually aimed that way. And then I'm going to do a U, but I want it capitalized. And I'm going to shrink that down so that it's going to cut in nice. Use my arrow keys to line it up so I'm happy. And I'm going to cut the U into the rocket. So if you see here from the side, I'm going to push it in two millimeters and make it a hole. Since it's going in two millimeters, I can change this thickness to only three millimeters. So that way it's poking out, but it's not sticking out a mile. Now I'm going to do control D and bring that down and make it say S and press enter. Let's see if I can do control D this time. And bring it down and there's my a but i got to change it to say a so with those letters added to my rocket i can now group them and it will cut usa out of my rocket i'm going to press w to shut off the work plane i'm going to take my whole rocket and since it's grouped i can lift the whole thing up a little bit and let me show you this cool trick if you go to 
featured shape generators there are a lot of cool things you can add to your rocket to make it look like it had flames uh, I'm gonna take this drill and I'm gonna flip it upside down so I'm doing that same rotate trying to find the little tick mark so that it's pointed downward and I just can't hold it there it is 180 I'm gonna change it to the color orange so it looks more like flames I could put several of these there uh, I should have used W but I did not and I want to take both pieces and I want to center them so there they're grabbed align and center I'm gonna nudge that with the arrow keys just so it's where I want since the whole rocket was orange I'm gonna change the flames to red uh, there are lots of cool ways that you can make this there's even one like a mountain range that I can't find today if you can find that I'd love to see where it's at I'm gonna connect my flames and I have got a pretty sweet rocket so many more things you could add to this but pretty cool fun project have fun let's see what you can create and see who can make the most epic rocket rocket take a screenshot tweet it share it share your item with me when you're done remember you can invite people to take a peek at it you can also publish to thingiverse have fun keep creating and if you get a chance please subscribe comment and like these videos Zombie Apocalypse.